Ariana Grande's post-divorce album has got fans heated as its titular song seemingly hints at the real reason behind her separation from Dalton Gomez. While the sensational songstress is yet to confirm what went down in her marriage to the real estate broker, her admirers believe infidelity and lies are a part of the answer. Oh. In all seriousness, I think I kind of learned that I wasn't really listening to myself in a lot of in a lot of areas where I I could have been. It's like my my nervous system was screaming at me to make certain changes for a long time. The speculations began after Grande dropped Eternal Sunshine, an emotional tune about an unfaithful lover. The Good Boy by Grande's side seemingly referred to her new beau, Ethan Slater, whom she began dating after separating from Gomez. At the time, she faced backlash for being a homewrecker. It can be applied to, again, especially when you see the video, I think you'll understand the importance of it, especially being the second single as well. The video that we made for We Can't Be Friends really, to me, is the album in a video. Over the timing of her relationship with Slater's divorce, the video opens with Grande, playing a character named Peaches in an office for Brighter Days, Inc. She's planning on undergoing a procedure to remove all memories of her ex, who is played by Evan Peters. In the opening lines, she sings, I don't want to hide, but I don't want to feed this monstrous fire. Just want to let this story die, and I'll be all right. She also questions if she can become friends with someone she used to love. But I don't want to bite my tongue. Yeah, I think I'd rather die, she sings. You got me misunderstood, but at least I look this good. As the process begins, the video recounts the happier and more intimate memories the pair shared. Overwhelmed, Peaches attempts to stop the procedure from finishing. In the end, she and Peter's character end up with other people, passing by each other in the street as they hold hands with their new partners. Grande had referenced the 2004 film when she first began teasing the title of her new album. Like the majority of Eternal Sunshine, Grande worked on the song with Max Martin and Ilya Salmanzade. We Can't Be Friends follows lead single Yes And, a house track inspired by Madonna's Vogue. The single debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100. Do you regret judging her now? Subscribe for more. Blux.